Hello, I'm Adam Grimes from MarketLifeTrading.com, and I want to talk to you today about a trade we did, and also share a few thoughts on what's going on with the broad market. But before we get started, if you find these videos helpful, we would really appreciate likes and subscribes. So subscribe to the channel so you know when we put out a new video. We're putting these out pretty much every day. This week I'm doing a little bit of travel, so we may miss a day or two. Uh, you may also hear from Tom a little bit. I don't know, you might have, might have another voice on these videos, but do subscribe. That way you'll know when we push out a new video. Okay, so the trade we did, we shorted Lily here. And I am the kind of trader who I don't usually do breakout trades, or in this case it would be a breakdown trade. And I don't usually make a trade after a big move. What I mean is like if you see a stock make a move like this, maybe the next day it'll keep going down. But I'm not the trader who usually looks to do that. My trading style is more to look for some kind of pause or a bounce and then to position for that. I'm looking to trade in some kind of pullback or consolidation. But in this case, I did something that having told you that, and if I told you that we shorted Lily here, and we did it, just so you know, we did it with the 12 July put spread, uh, 113, 109 put spread, and we paid, I believe, a buck for a buck 37 for that. So uh, 12 July, 109, 113 put spread, paid a buck 37. Why would I do a trade like that when I just told you I wasn't a breakout trader and when I just told you I didn't trade after a big move? By the way, this move yesterday here was, you don't really see it on the chart because it's kind of hidden in the range, but it was one of the biggest moves the stock has made on a volatility adjusted basis in a long time. Why? Because of this. This is actually a trade that's driven by the weekly chart. So we have this strong move down on the weekly, we have a consolidation, and within this consolidation on the weekly, you know, if we zoom in here and look at this, the market's not really doing anything, right? It's just kind of hanging out there, up a little bit, down a little bit, but mostly it's consolidating. This is the pattern I told you I trade, that we look for a big thrust down, we look for a pause, and we take a short, looking for a continuation of that move down. However, when you look at the daily, it's a lot more confusing, right? There's a lot going on. It's down, it's up, it's down, it's up more, it finds some resistance, it fails at the top, um, and, and then it comes down to the bottom and breaks through. But really what you have to do here is step back and say that all of these fluctuations on the daily chart really is kind of just lost in the noise of the consolidation of the weekly. So we've established this trade here. Um, we will see this does have potential for maybe five points. So we could look at about target around 110, possibly even blow that, and uh, maybe take a couple weeks to get there, but it also could move quickly. So we will see. Anyway, there's a trade entry. There are some thoughts in combining multiple time frames. Now, in terms of the broad market, I do think you want to continue to lean bullish. We are having a little pause here, but one of the rules that I can tell you with a pretty high degree of reliability is if the market makes a sharp move, as it did here, and then if the market pauses and consolidates near the upper end of that move, that is more often than not bullish. So I think it's a mistake. Now I just showed you a short that we put on, right? But sometimes the short patterns are convincing enough that they can disengage from the index. You can certainly have a stock go down when the index goes up. But if you go in and short a bunch of stocks, overall, there's a very good chance you're going to find yourself on the wrong side of the market. So I think you definitely want to lean long. You want to focus on the long side. And if you find some good shorts, I think Lily was one of the best shorts we had in the market. If you find some good shorts, you can definitely put those on. But realize that most of your focus needs to be on the long side. Okay, that's all for you today. Like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you back for another video more or less every day. Thank you very much. MarketLifeTrading.com.